Good. All right, guys, we're going to get going here. Um, this is just a little variation on the uh, Pennington's D-Rib Stone. It's a fly that we carry here in the shop. Um, oops. Really nice uh, little steel, uh, uh, trout jigged stone fly. Um, this is an Umqua XC400 in a size 10 with a jig bomb tungsten bead on there in a four millimeter. Um, also, Hairline does the exact same thing. It's the, uh, they call them the Insta Jig, but it's the same bead, same, same thing. Um, the colors differ slightly, but, um, but it's the same, same exact bead. Um, I'm just using this Umqua one because Hairline doesn't do this kind of metallic brown color. They have a mottled brown, but uh, that would also be a good option for this fly. Um, this is just uh, fluorescent fire orange UTC in uh, 70 denier. Okay, so I'm just going to build up a little bit of a thread base here, uh, kind of an underbody, because I want the body on this thing to be a little thicker than, than it would be if you didn't do this. <laughs> um, okay, so just building up a little bit of a taper right up to the lead. Oh, and that's uh, 015 lead wire behind the bead. Um, okay, so gonna go just down the bend slightly. And then I'm just gonna go tiny little dubbing ball here of a Hairtron um, in dark brown. And this stuff's cool, it's just hair's ear dubbing with a little bit of Antron. Um, just a little bit of, little bit of uh, flash. Okay, so that's pretty thin there. Just gonna set this here. Even that's a little much, but that's okay. And this is really just to splay out the um, the. Uh, biot tails here so um, for the tail I'm going with some brown strip biot uh, goose biots here and I'm just going to take two of these you've probably seen these used before but they've got a kind of a natural curve to them so I'm just going to take that take one of them and set it opposite. Okay, so uh, you can see that these are splayed out a little bit there. Um, so I just kind of slide them down. That's a good length there. You want them yeah, a little bit shorter than the body. So just slide them on down. Pinch them with my left. I'll go one kind of loose turn, two loose turns, and then cinch down on that. And then uh, I just do some another couple of loose wraps back up and then we'll kind of tidy all this stuff up here. Okay. Oops. And those biots kind of added to the to the uh, bulk of the underbody there, so that's that's nice. Um, Okay, so now for the body, we're just going with some um, vinyl rib. This is a mid size. You can use whatever kind of, whatever size you want um, to correspond with the size of hook that you're using. If I was tying these in like a six or an eight, I would go with the medium versus the midge. But uh, for this pattern, I like the midge. Um, gives a little bit more, um, segmentation too, which is nice. Okay. Just right back to the biot there. Oops. Okay. Just 
Okay. And then you can use your rotary function or just start wrapping this stuff forward. You can also lay down a um, layer of super glue that'll help with the durability of this fly. I don't have any on me, but I would if I had it and was kind of cranking these things out. Okay. We're gonna go about three quarters of the way up the body there, up the shank of the hook for the body, I mean. Okay, tie that off. Um, and that should be good. This stuff I like to give quite a few wraps because it can be kind of slippery and you don't want that, um, you don't want this stuff coming apart because that's kind of the main main part of the fly. Um, so now we're gonna go with just a little bit more of this uh, for the thorax, a little bit more of this Hairtron dubbing in dark brown. And I am going to use for the legs on this fly, these uh, barred and speckled crazy legs in pumpkin. Um, if I was tying this fly a little bit smaller, which definitely you want some smaller ones, um, I really like these daddy long legs, which are just really thin life flex legs. Um, so if you're tying these, you know, 12 to 14 and even smaller, because these, these legs are really thin, um, give these uh, daddy long legs a, a, a try also. Um, but for this fly, I'm gonna go with just a regular, regular width rubber leg um, in these barred and speckled crazy legs. Okay, so I'm gonna just lay down just a little bit of dubbing just right away. Okay, just a little dubbing ball. Okay, I'm gonna take my one strand. This is just from one end to the other. I just pulled one piece off. Um, okay, and then Given that one wrap just to hold it. Okay. Just gonna set those there. Okay. So those are set and then I'm gonna, um, this is, that's pretty much it as far as the, the, um, the fly goes. I'm just gonna cover up these legs with some dubbing fill in the gaps here with this Hairtron. Okay, like so, looks good. Okay, I'm gonna pull this front leg back, give it that much. Um, and then with these uh, Insta Jig heads, it can be kind of tricky to get a you know, a good looking hot spot, but I'm gonna just give it a little bit here. Okay, and that's enough to get the fish's attention. This whole fly is, it's pretty <laughs> sizable, intrusive stone fly. Okay, little whip finish, couple turn whip finish. Um, and be careful, again, with these Insta jigs. Um, some of the production ones have, um, uh, like when they go to whip finish, it'll get kind of trapped around the eye and that kind of thing. And, you know, just with all that mass, um, you know, towards the top of the bead, it can be kind of weird to whip finish. So just be careful with that to not uh, mess up your whip finish. And it's smart to give it a couple, couple, uh, couple whip finishes. So I'm gonna just take these legs, pull them all forward trim them right about there. Let's check the length on that. That's a little long for this size of fly. So I'm gonna just take that, give it one more trim, and that's about perfect there. So that's a little variation on the Pennington's D-rib uh, D rib stone uh, with the Insta Jig. Um, been tying a lot of stuff on, the, on these Insta Jigs and they're awesome, real heavy, real, real stout. Um, and uh, yeah, so give this one a try. This is actually, a, this is a really, really good fly. Um, I fished this on the Deschutes a bit last year and it uh, 
worked really well under a chubby. Um, works well on the Mackenzie. All of our local, all of our local trout waters. Um, yeah, and uh, like I said, with these smaller, smaller versions of this, which you definitely want to tie, um, definitely get some of these daddy long legs and uh, give it just a little bit thinner, thinner leg on there. Um, so, yep. Thanks for watching and uh, tight lines.